Hello again. Uh, in this video, I'm going to talk about nuclear fission. And uh, we use nuclear fission in this world uh, to generate electricity. In Australia, we still use coal-fired power stations. Uh, we, don't, um, we don't use nuclear fission to generate electricity anywhere in our country. Um, nuclear fission has associated with it some pretty nasty byproducts. And, uh, and Australians at this stage are, are just not interested in, in uh, uh, using that sort of uh, energy generation. Uh, probably for that reason, because it's because of the byproducts. Um, and the first part of this video, I'm just going to describe what nuclear fission is exactly at the molecular level, and uh, and in following videos, how a nuclear fired um, um, a power station um, generates electricity, and and how it all works as a whole. So um, if we imagine a neutron. This is uh, how the nuclear fission reaction starts, um, and I fire that neutron. Oh, before you, before we go on, that neutron has to be uh, has to be pretty slow. Has to have an energy of approximately 0 0.03 electron volts, which equates to about 20,000 meters per second. Um, I fire that uh, neutron into a uranium nucleus, mass number 235. That uranium nucleus takes on that neutron. Takes on that neutron because the neutron has no charge and 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 so there's no coulombic repulsion associated with the with the protons in the in the uranium nucleus. So um, uh, and, and so it's not repelled by it. It needs to be reasonably slow, though, in order for the for the uranium nucleus to take it up. Otherwise, the neutron can just pass straight through it. Uh, so we fire this neutron into the uranium nucleus, uh, another uranium nucleus with a different mass number results. But that's very short-lived. And we have two daughter nuclei, this uranium nucleus splits and that's what fission is, it's the splitting um, and we'll call these uh, daughter nucleus A and daughter nucleus B. Um, now we, we don't really know Exactly, scientists can't predict what A and B are going to be. They just know that they're uh, that the the uranium nucleus splits, and these have a, a mass number of a, approximately 140 and uh, and 95 around there. The the two daughter nuclei. We also have associated with this reaction uh, gamma ray photons fly off. And of course, these have lots of energy associated with them. And um, three, three neutrons, or two, it can be two or three, depending on the uh, the daughter nuclei. Yeah. So. And, and this is a reaction. So the the energy is given off in this reaction as as the the kinetic energies of the daughter nuclei and the neutrons and the and the the frequency of the gamma ray photons. Um, a typical fission reaction uh, looks like this: neutron fired to uh, uranium nucleus. We have a reaction occur. And here's just an example. Mass number of 141. So about that uh, that mass that I was describing before. That's barium. Uh, mass number of 92, approximately 95 or thereabouts. Uh, and this one is krypton. 
we have three neutrons and these gamma ray photons. So uh, this is a, just a typical reaction. Typical fission reaction. Okay, so how does this energy come about? Well, we have uh, conservation of energy. Uh, the mass of the reactants is is less than the oh, sorry is uh, is greater than the mass of the products. Mass of the reactants is greater than the mass of the products. And so, by the conservation of energy, you'll say, oh, where, where is the energy, that, that extra energy that re the reactants have gone to? Um, you, you can't, you, by the conserva conservation of energy, you can't just uh, make energy go away. You can only change it into something else. And, uh, and, and so we have um, some, uh, a mass defect. Mass defect. And, and that is converted to energy and this is where Einstein's equation E equals mc squared comes in um, and that, but that's basically with the speed of light the mass of uh, whatever it may be and the energy of whatever it may be uh, uh, it basically says that mass equals energy mass is energy um, so the energy given out by this reaction, uh, these gamma ray photons, uh, the kinetic energy of these these daughter nuclei and the neutrons, is a, is typically about 200 MeV or million electron volts, uh, which is quite high when you um, when you when you think about a hydrocarbon um, and, and think about fossil fuels, hydrocarbons. Um, when they when they're burnt, they they give out um, approximately uh, 50 eV, which is about 10 to the six times smaller. than this fission reaction of 200 million electron volts, and so we're talking about one reaction, one atom being reacted with a neutron here giving off this amount of energy as opposed to a, a hydrocarbon molecule being burnt and, uh, and, and much, much, much less energy. Um, so um, that, that of course is very helpful. Um, we have to burn a lot of coal um, to, to get enough energy or to get an equivalent amount of energy come off. And, um, and and so here's a benefit of uh, nuclear fission. Um, so how does this fission occur? How does this reaction occur physically? Um, the nucleus is held together by a strong nuclear force. So we know that, um, or the students in my class will know that um, if we have protons in here in this nucleus, uh, we have lots of protons. Uh, 92 of them, in fact, in a in a uranium atom. Okay, I'll just say that's a that's a proton, and they're positively charged, so they want to they want to repel each other. They want they want to blow this nucleus apart. But there's neutrons in there also, and uh, I'll draw those grey, and those neutrons have associated with them a strong nuclear force. That strong nuclear force. Um, it binds that nucleus together. Uh, neutron. Um, so I'll just state that strong nuclear force and proton uh, Coulomb. This is long range. And this nuclear force is very short range. 
So um, the larger this nucleus gets, the further apart the neutrons are, and uh, and and so that that short range nuclear force begins not to act very well. That's why uh, nuclei above um, atomic number of 83 uh, are so unstable um, is because their neutrons start to become a long way away from each other and that that electrostatic repulsion um, of the of the protons in that nucleus uh, really want to blow it apart so what happens uh, I think I have enough space here actually no maybe I'll uh, I'll stop this video and, and start again in a second thanks for watching